Hey, what's up? It's Week for Xiaomi Fi, and today I've got the Mi 11 Ultra. I've been uh, shooting some photos and videos with it over the last week, so let's have a look at uh, how it holds up. Let's go. Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today I've got the one that we've probably all been waiting for, the Mi 11 Ultra. And I've been shooting uh, with this one for over the, I think the last 10 days, and it's been really mind blowing. So in this first look video, I wanna really look into um, some of the photos and some of the videos that I've been shooting with it. And let's look at what this camera has to offer, because I think that is definitely one of the highlights of this phone. So as you can see on the back, it's got this huge, camera bump and it's got a 50 megapixel main camera then it's got a 48 or kind of 50 megapixel wide angle or ultra wide angle lens and then it's got a 50 megapixel telephoto five times zoom lens and it's really cool to see that all three of these have a 50 megapixel resolution and even better is that all three of them shoot 8k video all three of the lenses shoot 8K video, and that is amazing. So let's dive right into some of the photos that I've been shooting with all three of these lenses, some videos that I've been shooting with all three of these lenses, and um, then we'll come back and reassess. So let's first look at the photos that I've taken with this phone, starting with the main camera. And yeah, it's really good. The colors, the sharpness, it's, it's all there. When zooming into this photo of the cat at 100%, you'll see exactly what I mean. Even on a photo like this, it's got that nice separation between the subject and the background. And um, that's just not done with the portrait mode or anything. It's just how it comes out with the lens. I can even zoom into this photo to 200% and it still holds up very well. The photo, its colors and everything is just very good. Also on photos like these, you can really see that separation and very nice bokeh or out of focus parts of the image in the background and it just looks good. I've also taken some photos of Susanna and you can see how well the colors and the, the skin tones come out on these. And obviously I had to go to the bun here in Shanghai to take some photos with it as well. And again, at 100%, you can see how it captures all the details very well. And with all of these photos right here, it did that very well. Even when shooting into direct sunlight here, it actually held up. And to compare this photo taken with the Mi 11 Ultra with the Mi 11, the Mi 11 does have a higher resolution with its 108 megapixel camera, but it's not that huge of a difference. And in my opinion, the colors captured on the Mi 11 Ultra look a bit more like reality. When zooming into 100% on both of them, you can surely see that the Mi 11 has a bit of a higher resolution, but for some reason I actually kind of like the picture taken with the Ultra a little bit better, even though it has slightly more contrast. Then when it gets darker, a photo like this of this light, which by the way, might also be an upcoming review here on the channel. You can see how nice the roll off in the lights and the shadows are. And the noise in this one is so super well controlled. I've also taken a bunch more photos at night outdoors and most of these come out looking good. The noise is pretty well controlled. It still has quite a lot of details and they just look pretty nice. Sure, when we zoom into a photo like this right here, it has a little bit of noise at uh, 100%, but it's really not all that bad. Then we've got video with this lens, and that's just great to shoot with. All of these videos I've shot in 8K, so I've downscaled it to fit this 4K video. And a shot like this through the fence looks super nice with the subject in focus and the foreground out of focus. And when panning a shot like this on the bunt, I found this lens to be very stable. Also on this shot, which is a handheld shot, it came out well. And this shot that I've taken from the back of a car, and it comes out looking so smooth, like a, like a dolly shot. And at 100% in the 4K frame, so basically zooming from 50 to 100%, it still looks super stable. And here I was carrying a tripod with a heavy camera while walking and filming, and it was still stable. So the stabilization on this one is really good. And the same goes for the focus. Here I've moved from the interior of the car to outside and back and forth. And you can see how good and how fast this actually is to grab focus. And, and it doesn't really do like this heavy focus breathing. And then this photo, I mean, it's kind of all right. But the funny thing is that this is actually not a photo, but a frame from a video when I was walking, filming, and carrying this tripod with my cameras. So you can really see how well this thing is in, uh, in its stabilization. 
Also at night, it held up quite well. Sure, it's a little bit more noisy, but this shot does look super good. Although when walking at night, I did find it to have some stabilization artifacts. You can see here in the background. But when standing still, or perhaps just panning, it looked fine. So when walking, it's definitely not perfect, but when standing still, probably even having it on a tripod, it looks great, like this shot right here. Next up is the ultra wide angle lens. And this one is a lot wider than the ultra wide on the Mi 11. And with that much higher resolution, these come out looking good. You can zoom into this 48 megapixel photo and see it at 100%. And you can see that it's capturing quite a lot of details. Sure, it's mostly sharp in the center, so the corners of the photo are not as sharp, but that's very typical with uh, wide angle lenses. So it's really not all that bad and the center is actually tack sharp, it's, it's good. At night you can see that this one does have a little bit of a different sensor than the main lens. The shots are still quite good, but there is a lot more contrast and there's some more noise than on the main lens and background elements look a little bit more fuzzy. The same goes for a video. The video with the ultra wide angle is good. It's also 8K, so I've scaled it down to fit the frame, but it comes out looking good. Especially during the day, the shots look very nice. It also has a little bit more contrast compared to the main lens, but they're really not bad. Also when walking, its stabilization is just fine, especially during the day, the shots come out looking good. Video at night also shows that it has a lot more contrast and not all the shots are as great as it does have a more fuzziness in the background, less details and well, it's, it's a bit darker on this lens. When walking, this one seems to do a little bit better, but it also does have quite some moving artifacts of the stabilization. When holding it very still though, it gets uh, much better results. Now on to what is probably my favorite feature, the five times zoom or telephoto lens. So here's a photo taken with the main lens and now this one taken with the telephoto lens. Yes. And this one also shoots 48 megapixel photos and those are really incredible as you can see all the detail in something that is really quite far away. You can see that when we zoom into 100% on this photo right here, it actually looks, uh, looks very good. Here another one with the main lens then to the five times zoom lens. And just the depth and the feel of the telephoto is really nice at giving a super good separation between foreground and background elements. So here's the ultra wide, then the main wide angle lens, and then the five times zoom lens. And just the way it makes the photos look, I think you can kind of see why I really like this lens so much. Or then here, this girl is taking some photos a few meters away from me. But with that lens, I can actually have a full frame portrait of her or something like this building in the background. I can just take that image full frame with that lens and I can even digitally zoom into 10x to get this frame. But it doesn't stop there. So here in this photo with the main lens, I saw this airplane all the way there, that little dot. So I zoomed in using the 5x telephoto, which by itself is pretty cool. Then I zoomed into 10x and then the 50x and I actually got a somewhat decent photo of an airplane, which is like two kilometers away, if not more. So you can zoom in 120x like I've done here on the Bund. You can see uh, going all the way from the ultra wide to the regular zoom, 5x, 10x, and then all the way to 120x. But it really gets a bit silly as that's mostly digital zoom. And at that point, it's really not very usable. But just to see that it can capture this small portion of this view is pretty crazy though. What did work out very, very well uh, were the photos of some of the boats on the river, like here on 5x and on 10x, and this boat right here on 5x. And the separation and that foggy distant coloring make these photos just look so good. I really can go on and on about this lens, but you get the idea of how good it is and how I am a really big fan of this one. Then there's also video with the telephoto zoom, 8K video that is. And you can already see how well stabilized it is in this example. And then here on this shot with the main lens, then going to the telephoto lens, it just looks very cool. Another example of a handheld shot with the main lens going into that telephoto, it just gives something special in terms of separation and the feeling of depth. Or this shot, which I've taken out of the back of a moving car. 
It's really quite incredible to imagine that I'm hand holding a camera in a moving car and get this result on a 5x zoom lens. And this shot right here, I've also taken from the back seat of that car while doing a, a pan down. It's actually very incredible in how stable it is. Then here on the Bund, you can see that ship. Can you? Well, on the five times zoom lens, that boat is just full frame. And walking with this lens is not really a good idea as it does stabilize, but not really well for when taking steps. But when panning and following a moving object, it did surprisingly good and it just looks super stable. So yeah, that is why this must be one of my favorite lenses on this phone. At night, this one does get a lot more noisy, as you can see right here. And also when using that handheld at night, not having anything to give you some support, it gets quite shocky. And well, walking with it at night, oh. Again, walking with this one is not a, not a great success. Then when I'm uh, handheld following a moving car at night, it actually did perform surprisingly good. Sure, it's still a little bit noisy, but I'm following a moving car with a 5x zoom lens. So it's really not all that bad. Now, I just want to put a little disclaimer here, because when I'm filming shots like these, I haven't set the exposure manually, which might actually make these shots like here a little bit more usable or even a shot like this with the normal lens, it might be a little bit more usable if I set the exposure manually because I would probably make it a little bit darker, um, which would probably reduce the noise. So probably some of these shots might have come out a little bit less noisy if I would have taken down the exposure manually, but I just wanna really see how the camera performs if you just do a point and shoot. Next, we also have the selfie camera and I've taken some photos with them and they look fine, and I also had Susanna take a selfie with it and that comes out looking just fine as well. But I don't wanna go too deep into that just yet as there's a lot more on the Mi 11 Ultra which I wanna cover in my full review video coming up in the next two days. This was really just going over that super impressive main camera. You've seen the photos, you've seen the videos now and I think we can all agree that this thing is really incredible, especially that five times zoom. I mean, I have been stressing this, this telephoto lens for a reason, because a lot of these phones have this macro lens, like a five megapixel macro lens or a two megapixel macro lens. And I've always been saying, nobody wants a macro lens, we want a two times zoom lens, five times zoom lens. Like that's so much more helpful. And this phone just goes to show how incredible it is to have a five times zoom lens. And by far, this is the best zoom lens um, on any Xiaomi phone that I've ever seen, maybe even on any phone that I've seen thus far. And also with 8K video on that five times zoom lens is just incredible. The stabilization was really mind blowing for me um, when I was shooting with it. it. It's so fun to shoot with. So yeah, I've been, I've been very happy going out every day when I, when I went out on a, on a little stroll to take some photos. It's just so much fun to shoot with. So. That's about it for this first look. Like I said, I'm really just gonna look at the camera and I'm gonna be posting a full review in the next probably two or three days where we're gonna look at how it is in daily use and some of the other like really detailed specs of the phone. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can be one of the first to check that video out coming out in two days and uh, maybe give me a little thumbs up um, because um, you will make my day and also you will stimulate the YouTube algorithm which will again make my day so you know. Thanks, that would be great. I would appreciate that. You can also check out my full review on the Mi 11 um, and the Mi 11 Global when that came out right here. I've put down some, uh, some clickable things right here in the frame. So check that one out if you haven't seen it. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.